So this is the first one with the camera mounted from above. We'll see how this goes. Um, please let me know if you prefer this or the over the shoulder shot. This should not, or this should work better. I, I shouldn't cover as much this way. Okay. Anyway, as always, it's a 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun until it's just damp. Since this is going to be ice dyed, I'm going to go ahead and flip it inside out. All right. So this is going to be a diagonal. And since this is a women's cut shirt, it's a little, little bit harder to get these straight. Okay, since I want it on the left, I'm going to start on the right, since this is currently inside out. And I am just going to freehand an arc across this. I basically just pivoting my arm. There we go. So that's freehanded in. And I'm going to go ahead and just accordion fold along this. After I try to even up the base here. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. Alright, so these are going to be fairly large. I'm going to actually go ahead and measure this. And it looks like it's about an inch and a quarter for the accordions. So just go all the way around this circle. And that's a pretty big accordion, so I'm having to think through how far to actually pinch on each of these. stuff about like this. I'm just going to pull this down a little and I don't want to tie that first. I want to actually tie, well maybe I do. I'll take a look here because I know how far I want this to go up. So yeah this should be okay for the first tie. I'm gonna go ahead and mark one, another about an inch and a half up. And that should work out okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this off. Okay, and then before I do the rest of that, I'm going to make sure all these are tucked all the way down. Okay, and then my idea is to fold each of these accordions down again. So I should probably start on this end. So I'm taking the tip of the accordion, folding it in. It marked well.
Now with the camera up there, I cannot see what I'm doing as far as the camera's view. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a monitor that I can place and be able to look at, but I thought I'd try this just to get everybody's opinion. If you don't prefer the overhead view, then there's no reason in continuing with the idea of a separate monitor I can look at. Okay, so that's folded. And then this I'm just going to try... complete the accordion the way it was originally. Okay, that actually goes pretty far. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these out about every inch and a half. And probably stop there. So, I probably need to do one more. There we go. Like that. And this is finished. The rest of this won't be dyed, so it should be okay off to the side. So, time to dye. Alright, for this I'm using something different. I have been using Dharma Procyon dyes. This one I'm going to be using custom colors. I'm using their dark black and green MXEG. So we'll see how these work out. I'm just going to use those two and alternate. So let's go ahead. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I'm going to go a little over here, but not too much. And then the rest of this will be left white or however far it runs up. So let's go ahead and get started. That's not what you want to happen. All right, I'll let that sit until it melts through. Then I'll try and decide what I'm gonna do on the backside. It's been about 36 hours. I didn't do anything to the backside. I actually just reapplied to the top and we'll see how this works out. All right, let's take a look. So I'll go throw this in the washing machine and we'll see the final. I know I normally don't say anything after the washout, 
but this one did not come out like I was expecting. And I know when I say failure, um, people don't like that for some reason, but it is in my opinion because it didn't do what I was expecting it to do. Um, this is too solid. Um, the breakout here is correct, but this wasn't what I was planning it for it to look like. So I'm actually going to redo the concept for this again. It won't be the same type of um, the, the peacock off the corner kind of thing because I think I can make this work better a different way. But I'm going to try this again and I'm hoping it works. As far as the custom colors, colors go, um, the black um, seems to be a pretty good black. It's a nice solid um, as far as when it's in a more liquid state. Um, the breakout, as far as the colors go, I actually like. Um, there's a lot of grays, blues, um, and the blues seem to work really well. It doesn't do any weird splitting that I can see. The greens seem to split really nicely. It did, however, bleed a really, really long distance because the powder dye was applied, oh, half an inch or so up here, and there was nothing binding it to force it. Uh, true, it will bleed out because this is wet, but this is quite a bit more than I expected. Um, the black, it looks like there's a, I don't know, reddish brown that comes out on it as well, um, but only on the tips, which could actually be really useful if you're trying to do flames um, and use some oranges and yellows and reds and then use the black um, to get some flame tips, maybe. Anyway, it's what I'm thinking. The blues, I honestly don't know which it's coming from. If it's coming from just the black or both the black and the green, I'm thinking it's just the black. Um, again, it also did the, the tips on the blue, which I kind of like. So I might do just a solid custom colors. I think it's dark black on a design as well, just to see what I can pull off ice-dyed with this.